Welcome to the Decentralized Daily Podcast, where you get your daily dose of cryptocurrency news and information. The crypto news that matters to you. Nothing on this program should be confused with investment advice, because we don't give you any. It's not that kind of show, guys. Just the facts here, just the facts. So uh, sit back, relax, gather your thoughts, and prepare yourself for today's market movers in cryptocurrency. Alrighty, guys, today is Friday, February 2nd, 2018. The markets are bleeding. The markets are bleeding. Get yourself a tourniquet. Coming in at number one in the market cap on coinmarketcap.com, down 14.36% at 8000 That's right, $8,779.76. That is our leader, Bitcoin. And coming in at number two is Ethereum. $964.60 for an Ether, and that's down 14.79%. Coming in in third, we got a Ripple. That's 0.84 cents down 26%. Bcash, $1,187. Admirable. Down 20% in the last 24 hours. Cardano rounding out the top five. 36 cents. It's down 31.38%, the largest drop of any in the top 10. Litecoin coming in at number six at $135.76, down 17.57%. We got NEO coming in at number seven, $114 for each NEO, and down 21%. Stellar's at number 8 at 39 cents, down 25%. EOS, $9.13, down 25% as well. Rounding out the top 10, NEM, 0.56 cents, down almost 30% at 29.41%. It's not looking good today. Don't forget, guys, today is the day that you hodl. Today the day is, is the day that you buy. Warren Buffett said, buy low, sell high. How else are you going to do that unless you buy when the prices are low? That's right. We're looking at 25%, 30%, 14%. 30% discounts off of cryptocurrencies today and today only. Get them while they're hot. They're going fast. Alrighty, guys. Enough of that bad juju. Let's take a look at the news. You know the top story of the day is more bad news pushes Bitcoin's value below $9,000. This is courtesy of ArsTechnica.com. Bitcoin is now down 55% from its December peak, but you knew that already. Bitcoin's month-long price slide continued on Thursday as it virtually fell below $9,000. Well, it did more than virtually fall. For the first time since November, as we published this article, one Bitcoin is worth $8,700, and that continues to be true right now. That's down 12% over the last 24 hours and 55% from December's peak of 19500 Hopefully, you did not buy at 19500 Enough of that. Let's get to some good news. Bitrix CEO announces USD trading on the popular crypto exchange. This is from downbit.com. Bill Shihara, CEO of Bitrix, has announced it will add the U.S. dollar trading on the popular exchange. However, the offer will not be available for everyone, likely only for institutional investors. 
As more crypto investors doubt Tether, this is welcome news. USD trading would make the platform less cumbersome by enabling some investors to buy coins directly from the site with their fiat currency. So if you're familiar with Bittrex, you know that currently users have to buy crypto from different exchanges with fiat pairings and then transfer the coin to to Bittrex to begin trading on the platform. So no longer will you have to go to Coinbase and transfer out of Coinbase into Bittrex. Uh, You can do it all yourself. And then for some fun news, at age 15, Eric Finman or Feynman, begged his parents to let him drop out of high school. His parents were highly educated and concerned by his desire to shun school, so he made a bet with them. If he could become a millionaire by the age of 18, he didn't have to go to a university. He's now 19, a budding tech prodigy. We'll see. And at least on paper, a millionaire. In fact, it was so easy. He said, if you're not a millionaire in the next 10 years, it's your own fault and you're doing it wrong. The 15-year-old has a pension for satire. His road to premature riches all started when he was 12 years old and his grandmother gave him $1,000 as a gift. A pretty nice gift from grandma. He decided to invest it in the then-emerging cryptocurrency Bitcoin and bought 100 units of the digital currency after his older brother told him about it. He took the currency with such gusto. After that, he began making headlines. By the age of 16, some in the media anointed him as Bitcoin Boy. Never heard of Bitcoin Boy, but I'm proud of anybody who has the foresight and the due diligence to take $1,000 that their grandmother gave them and invest it into anything, and especially something as prolific and mind-blowing and revolutionary as the Bitcoin. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Crypto Daily. We'll see you manana.